When it comes to indoor cycling bikes, Peloton still remains at the forefront due to their strong marketing efforts, their top-notch instructors, and their high-quality product. In today's video, I'm going to round out my list of my top indoor cycling bike alternatives, having received a few comments on my prior video with people suggesting bikes that they would have liked to see on this list as well. So I did a bit of research on them and I wanted to include them on my top indoor cycling bikes list for those who are interested or in the market for one of these products. Due to the nature of the pressing stay-at-home orders of COVID-19, people are still seeking convenient, reliable at-home workout options. In my previous video, I had a category for Peloton competitors with five recommendations, which include an order of appearance, the Echelon EX5, the Nordic Track Commercial Studio Cycle S22i bike, the Kaiser M3i indoor cycling bike, the Bowflex C6 bike, as well as the Schwinn IC4 bike. I'll link that video above for anyone who's interested in those following bikes. Once again, for a bit of background on myself, I am a Peloton customer. I've owned my bike for a little over five months, having received it in early January of 2020. And I actually lucked out on the timing because I received my bike within two weeks of placing the order. Now I checked on Peloton's site and it can take up to 10 weeks to receive your Peloton bike if you do order from them. I have since filmed two fitness update reviews as well at the three week mark as well as the 12 week mark. I am planning to do a five month fitness update as well. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. Stick around till the end for a healthy green tea latte recipe that tastes just like Starbucks. For this recipe, I use the Teamy Green Superfood Powder. This powder contains 16 ingredients and includes matcha powder as well for a natural caffeine boost. There are no artificial sweeteners or added sugar, so it is a pretty clean tasting powder in my opinion, and the consistency does resemble that of a matcha powder. If you're interested in trying this powder, I have a link in the description box below, as well as a 20% off code for those who are interested. So getting back to the topic of today's video, today's list includes five additional Peloton alternatives as well as a popular smart trainer option for those who already own a road bike and would like the capability to work out indoors with it. So the first bike we have is the Mix Bike. It has a retail price of $11.99, which is a little bit over $1,000 less than Peloton's price tag of $22.45. CNET has called it the best Peloton alternative, period. The monthly membership is $10 less than Peloton's at $29 per month versus Peloton's $39 per month for access to their library of live and on-demand classes. Another interesting feature of this bike is that their membership includes non-competitive one-on-one coaching. As with Peloton, they have a financing option as well for the bike at $34 per month for 36 months with $0 down and 0% APR. This contrasts with Peloton's $58 per month, $0 down, and 0% APR. There is a 30-day return policy, which doesn't include the $250 return shipping, which actually is quite standard for indoor cycling bikes. There's also a one-year warranty as well as a full service delivery. The bike is available in two colors, deep charcoal as well as natural white, which is an option that most indoor cycling bikes don't give you. The second bike on my list is the Diamondback 1260 with a retail price of $14.99. This bike connects with your favorite activity monitoring device that is ANT Plus or BLE FTMS compatible. The ANT Plus portion syncs with watches and heart rate monitors to track your progress. ANT Plus or Adaptive Network Topology is a multicast wireless network designed by ANT Wireless used primarily in sports and fitness sensors. The BLE FTMS portion links to Apple iOS or Android. BLE FTMS stands for Bluetooth Low Energy Fitness Machine Service, and it is a protocol to control fitness equipment such as bike trainers, treadmills, and rowing machines. There are 16 levels of resistance controlled with the flip of a lever. The 31 pound flywheel is propelled by a belt drive system and it has dual magnetic resistance. And as you know, the Peloton bike is a magnetic resistance bike. Another interesting feature on this bike is its self-generating power aspect, allowing you to ride it either indoors or outdoors without the use of an electric plug. The natural caveat to this is that there are no video classes as with the Peloton, Nordic Track, and others. Of course, with that being said, there's no monthly fee as well. Once again, you can still stream classes using their BLE FTMS system using third-party apps on your own tablet. Due to the high demand as a result of shelter-in-place restrictions on their site, they're currently out of stock until June 22nd, 2020. The next bike on my list is the Wahoo Kicker Smart Bike with a retail price of $34.99, a full $1,000 more than Peloton's bike. 
This bike is on the so-called outer edges regarding price for this video, but I figured I'd include it because a viewer did mention it as a Peloton alternative in my previous video. If you're looking for something that has more of a road bike feel, this bike may be for you. This bike is different from typical indoor cycling bikes as it has a combination of a 13 pound flywheel as well as an enhanced motor, still offering it a virtually silent operation as described on their site. One interesting feature with this bike is when connected to your smartphone, tablet, or computer, this bike automatically sets your resistance via your favorite app or software, something that your typical indoor cycling bike won't do. As with the previous two bikes, it also works with popular third-party training apps. This bike weighs 93 pounds, a full 45 pounds less than Peloton. The next bike on my list is the Stages Smart Bike with a retail price of $28.99. This bike has a 50 pound flywheel, configurable electronic shifting with sprint buttons, and a smooth gate spelt drive. As with the previously mentioned bikes, it is compatible with your favorite training and simulation apps. As mentioned on their site, Stages Cycling brings the experience of riding outdoors to your home. It has a smooth, silent electronic resistance unit providing up to 2200 watts of realistic road feel. The next bike on my list is the Watt Bike Atom with a retail price of $28.99. This bike provides so-called ultimate realism using their real ride feel technology. It weighs 97 pounds with an aluminum frame, magnetic resistance, and is compatible once again with ANT Plus so you can use third-party apps with it. There's also a tablet holder as this bike doesn't come with a tablet of its own. Last on my list is from the brand TACT, and that's their Smart Trainer. So the Smart Trainer is a little bit different from an indoor cycling bike. A Smart Trainer is a tool that you can mount on your bike that offers resistance like a normal trainer, but with the added benefit of allowing the resistance to be controlled by cycling apps such as Swift. Naturally, these trainers require someone to own a road bike first. They are great for winter training, and they also make a lot of sense for someone who lives in the city and would like the option to work out indoors. According to Business Insider, the best high-end indoor bike trainer is the Neo2 Smart Indoor Trainer with a retail price of $13.99. Trainers can also be significantly less with Amazon having an option from the brand Cycle Ops called their Fluid2 Indoor Trainer with a retail price of $269. They have a mention at the top of the page that if you want to purchase one of their products, you will automatically be redirected to Garmin site. The privately held Dutch company was actually acquired by Garmin in February of 2020. All of their products are produced in their Netherlands facility, whereas Garmin's are all produced in Taiwan. Once again, their smart trainers connect wirelessly with third-party apps such as Swift, Trainer Road, and since they are a smart trainer, they have automatically controlled resistance so you don't have to worry about adjusting it during your ride. As with most indoor cycling bikes, these smart trainers will also measure your speed, power, and cadence. After having gone over five Peloton alternatives, how has Peloton themselves been faring despite the pandemic and all the recent events surrounding that? Peloton has seen quite a bit of growth since their IPO nine months ago. Their start price was $27. Currently, their price is $47, so that's nearly double. Their lowest price was $18 on March 12, 2020, which was four days before the shelter in place was officially enacted in the San Francisco Bay Area. They recently released their Q3 results for 2020. Peloton reports in fiscal years, meaning that their year starts on July 1st and ends on June 30th the following year. Their Q3 metrics for 2020 represent January 1st through March 31st, and a few of the figures stood out to me. As you can see, the ending connected fitness subscribers nearly doubled from 2019 to 2020. Their total workouts more than doubled from 18 million in 2019 to 44 million in 2020. As mentioned towards the beginning of this video, here is my recipe for my healthy green tea latte. Today I'm gonna to make a matcha latte. First, I'm gonna get some ice one scoop of the powder and once you open it it does have a pretty strong smell of matcha so if you like matcha I feel like this may be a good option for you this is how big one of the scoops are I feel like it's just like a heaping tablespoon size next step is to add milk of your choice I'm keeping mine dairy free so I'm going with almond milk I'm also adding maple syrup for sweetness as this powder doesn't contain any additional sugars I feel like shaking it up with the ice also helps to dissolve and blend the powder. So now we're gonna do a quick taste test. I just have this little reusable straw from Amazon and I feel like it tastes better in a straw versus like tilting it because I feel like it also spills a little bit. To be honest, it tastes like the Starbucks green tea latte. 
So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you like content like this and comment down below if you have any other bike recommendations that you would have liked to see on the list as well. I'm always searching for new alternative options to talk about and to compare and contrast with Peloton. So anyways, with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.